Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today we have a ship with me video. We have a lot of items to ship out today. 42 to be exact. I had $1,341 in sales. And so my average sales price for this video came out to $32, which I'm very happy with. If you're new to my channel, my target sales price is around $28. That's just kind of across the board for bread and butter stuff. And so an average sales price of $32, I'm ecstatic about. I'm very excited to show you guys why these items may be commanded a little bit of a higher price. I have all of my labels printed out. I print them on my Dymo Label Writer 4XL, and then I do handwrite the information on the back to relay to you guys basically what I listed it for, what the offer was, if I counter offered, that kind of thing. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Our first sale is this gorgeous quarter zip pullover sweater by the brand Quince. Quince, I think, yeah. Um, I had never heard of this brand. I was drawn to it immediately because of the fabric. I could tell that it was a really high quality material when I felt it at the bins. It is 28% alpaca and 28% wool and the rest is nylon. So that combined with the cut, the quarter zip look, it's a really nice just kind of updated loungewear piece. I mean, you could obviously wear it out, but the cut is kind of lounge weary with the pullover sweater style. This did retail, what was it? I think it was around $100. I forget now, but I listed this at 50. It really was in excellent condition. It didn't really have any like pilling or no holes, nothing like that. So. Yeah, I listed at 50 and same day of being listed, I got a $35 offer, which I went ahead and took. The comps for this sweater, anytime that I am listing or selling or getting an offer on a brand that I've never sold before, I always am sure to just kind of follow the comps to see what others have sold for. And $35 did line up with comps. So I did want to take that. My earnings were $28. I paid around two for that at the Goodwill outlet here in Houston. And so my profit was right around $26 on that sweater. So I would say that specific piece commanded a higher price because of the material, alpaca wool, higher quality materials, and also the cut. The quarter zip is really popular right now. This piece, this was one of my absolute favorite finds from the Austin, Texas bins. This is a J. Jill, Pure Jill by J. Jill, 100% linen, size 4X button down blouse. This is so gorgeous. It's textured, like a crinkle gauze texture. Very earthy, very natural, very lagging look. That is a keyword that you guys should know. L-A-G-E-N-L-O-O-K, lag and look. It basically just means like kind of oversized artsy layers that have interesting cuts, hemlines, textures, materials, very uh, natural materials, linen, cotton. It's definitely a look. If you Google it, you will see examples of the style but it is a very popular style anytime i can use that keyword i know the piece is going to sell well and so i listed this at 40. this probably retailed for 100 to 120 dollars uh, pure jill by j jill that specific line is very expensive i was offered 30 next day I did counter that to 35 and that was accepted. My earnings once again were $28. I paid $1.35 for this at the Austin, Texas Goodwill outlet. And so my profit was right around $26.70 on that top. 
So for that top, it was a material, 100% linen, the size 4X. I find that larger sizes and plus sizes, I list everything around the same price. Like I don't list something higher because it's plus size or a larger size, but I would say that I am able to sell the item for closer to what I, for closer to my list price when it is a larger size extra small and small, I do find myself taking lower offers just because there's not much that there's not as much of a demand for smaller sizes. The average woman in America is a size 14, I believe. And so there's just more of a demand for plus sizes. And also the cut, the keywords, everything. Okay, next we have a pair of shoes. These were also uh, sold same day very quickly the brand is steven by steven new york and they're a faux leather croc embossed heeled shoe i knew these would sell well because they look a lot like the hermes shoe which is very popular i listed these at 35 and i was immediately offered 25 I did counter back to 28 because like I mentioned, that is my target sales price these days and that was accepted. Making my earnings $22.40. I also picked these up at the Austin Goodwill Bins and so my cost of goods were $1.35. Making my net profit. $21, right around $21 on these shoes. So I'm definitely happy with that. I hope the buyer loves them. They are so cute, so trendy. You could really do a lot with these. Wear them in the summertime or fall time. I feel like Croc Embossed kind of screams fall for some reason. Also the color. I like this like cognac color to them. I feel like my clothing rack is closer to me than it usually is. I feel like it's kind of crowding me over here. Okay, next up, we have another favorite find from the Austin Bins. Johnny was this gorgeous embroidered blouse top. It has a tie front, so pretty, size large, excellent condition, no flaws. I was so happy to find this. And I want to say this sold same day or next day. Lots of fast sales in this video. So I would say the biggest thing that this top has going for it is the brand. Obviously, Johnny was. People know it, they love it. It's so high quality, so expensive retail. This top was probably close to $200 retail. Also the cut and style, gorgeous, feminine, floral embroidery, so pretty. So I listed this at 85 and I was offered 70, which I did go ahead and accept. If this had been more colorful, more vibrant, and had just really intricate embroidery, I probably would have listed closer to 100 or if this had been the Bia line from Johnny Was, B-I-Y-A, because that line does tend to have more uh, dramatic embroidery, I would say. But that was a pretty standard Johnny Was top. I did list at 85. I was offered 70, which I did accept. My earnings were 56, and my profit was right around $55. So I'm still very happy with that. Next, we have a really pretty printed blouse by Zara. This is newer tag Zara. And this, I would say the print, obviously this really fun print, as well as the size, it's a size large. It's kind of rare to find, at least in my experience, to find newer tag Zara in larger sizes, like size large and up. I almost always find it in extra small or small. And also uh, button down tops are very popular for me. 
so I this is actually a full price sale there were a couple different um, offers that I received on this but it did end up selling full price for $28 which I was happy with anytime that I'm getting lots of traffic or multiple offers on something I will just kind of sit back and see if it will sell for full price which it did end up selling and so my earnings were $22.40 and my profit was right around $21 so another super fast sale. This was another great sale. This is something that I knew would sell quickly. Once again, it's a size extra large in Free People, which I typically do not find because the brand is oversized. And so an extra small or a small usually fits like a medium or a large. So this is probably closer to plus size. So the size was definitely a factor on this and also the style, it is obviously adorable. So I listed this at 45, even though it is just kind of a plain t-shirt, I knew that it would have, I knew that a lot of, it would get a lot of traffic basically, which it did. I had several people offering on this top as well. I had it listed at 45. Someone offered me 30, which I did counter to 40. 40 was my lowest on this. They countered me back at 35 and then I countered them back at 40, which they accepted. And so my earnings were 32 and my profit was right around $31. Anytime that a top or a piece that I have listed in my closet has a lot of traffic right off the bat, that does give me more confidence to counter offer because I know that if the person that I'm countering with doesn't accept that, someone else will probably make an offer or it will sell to someone else just because there is so much interest on it. Okay, next, this was so cute. Another one of my favorite finds from the Austin outlet. I believe this is 100% wool. Also, someone in my comments told me that the buttons go on the shoulders and that's definitely how it's supposed to go. I had it wrong on my mannequin. It looks so much cuter how it's supposed to go. Um, but yeah, it's like a mixed fabric. This fabric is different from, than the front and then it has fun quirky buttons on the shoulders. There's absolutely no tags on this, but I can feel that it's either the largest part of this is wool or it is 100% wool because I can just feel that these days. And so yeah, that, that was a big reason that I wanted to get this because of the fabric as well as the adorable fun artsy print i added a ton of keywords hippie boho bohemian paisley vibrant festival artsy art to wear i listed this at 38 and this was another full price sale a very fast full price sale my earnings came out to 30 dollars and 40 cents and my profit was right around $29. So incredibly happy with this sale. I am not dissuaded by picking up stuff that has no tags if it has a lot going for it, like the material, the print, the style, the cut. Ponchos are also one of my best selling categories. So I knew that this would do well. I held this up to the light probably 10 times looking for little holes and that was in flawless condition. So I was thrilled with that find. Okay, next, this was kind of an experiment piece. I had never heard of this brand, Sunday Forever. I did wanna get it though because, so this is a robe, like a house robe. It has dramatic sleeves, super dramatic sleeves. But the main reason I wanted to get it is because of the fabric. It's a silk and cotton blend. So it's all natural materials. Uh, it's breathable. Silk is definitely a higher end fabric. The cut of this is so cool with the sleeves and the hemline also does have a dramatic ruffle to it and yeah i say this was an experiment piece because i have never heard of this brand sunday forever i just quickly looked up comps on this 
at the bins when I was at the bins and I saw that it retailed for $250. And so I for sure wanted to get it. I listed it at 50 because it was missing the waist tie to keep it closed. If it had that, I would have listed this probably around $100. I probably should have listed it at 75 with its with its retail price and because it has no other flaws, like you could easily just pair any kind of black belt with this. But I wanted to move it quickly. Next time I find the brand, I will probably list a little bit higher because same day I got an offer of 40 on it. And kind of like I was mentioning with the green Free People t-shirt, this robe had a ton of traffic on it. Like I think it got around 20 likes within the first couple days of being listed. And so that did give me the confidence to counter that $40 offer at 45. They countered me back at 42 and I countered back to 45. I decided that was my lowest if it was going to be so popular. They did accept that making my earnings 36 and my profit right around $35. So I would say that is a brand to look out for Sunday forever. It seems like people out there know it. Okay, next is Maurice's. I rarely pick up this brand. It has to have a lot going for it. This is a size large, extra large. It's a floral print. It has this crochet insert in back. And also it is that kimono open front lightweight cardigan cut that is really popular for me. So this did have quite a bit going for it. If it had been any smaller than a large, I would have left it and if it were not in excellent condition. But it just so happened to have all the right things going for it. I have had this now for probably a couple months. I had it listed at 28 and someone offered me 23, which I did go ahead and accept. That made my earnings $18.40. And my profit $16.40 on this piece. So I'm happy with that. This is definitely bread and butter for sure. But bread and butter stuff is what pays my bills every month. I have no problem selling bread and butter. And honestly, this is a really nice piece. You could do a lot with this. Because it's lightweight, you could wear it in the spring or summer. Um, but also you could wear it going into fall time. It's definitely a transitional weather kind of piece. We have a two item bundle here. First is this unique low size extra large. 100% is this merino wool or just wool? It is 100% wool. So yeah, the reason I got this was because of the fabric and because of the size and the condition and also the cut. People love turtleneck sweaters. They are closet staples in wintertime. Gray is a neutral color. Wool is a great fabric and extra large is a great size. I've had this for two or three months now, but I did list it in summertime. So I was expecting that. Second and last piece in this bundle is this Everlane size extra large merino wool and cotton blend ribbed cardigan. I knew this would sell well when I found it. Everlane sells so well in general. I pick up pretty much everything I find, even like basic t-shirts, which I definitely don't do in all brands. But the, so the fact that this was a great size and great material upped the sellability of it even more, I would say. The Everlane cardigan I just listed, so that only took a couple days to sell. When the two of them were added to a bundle, the bundle price came out to 97, and I was offered 82, which I went ahead and accepted. My earnings were $65.60. My cost of goods for both came out to $2.35, and so my profit was $63 on this bundle, which I am thrilled with. 
I was happy to move the Uniqlo turtleneck out because I have had it for a couple months now. And it was kind of a more plain basic piece. I do really like selling Uniqlo basics though. They sell really well for me if they're the right fabric and style. Okay, another two-piece bundle. These were both very recently listed, both again from the Austin bins. This first piece is Daydreamer tie-dye crew neck sweatshirt. This was another item that had a ton of interest, which I knew that it would because it's really just so cute. I love the print. This uh, style, the loungewear kind of athleisure-ish style is a phenomenal seller for me. Second and last is this Dolan Left Coast Collection by Anthropology shirt dress. Shirt dresses are another category that usually just kind of flies out of my closet because they're so easy to wear. You don't, you obviously don't have to worry about, you know, finding two matching separates or two separates that look cute together. You just throw on the dress, you look put together, you're comfy, you're cute. So when the two of these were added to a bundle, the price came out to 75. I was offered 63, which I went ahead and took. My earnings were $50 and 40 cents. My cost of goods were $2 and 70 cents. And so my profit was $47 and 70 cents on this bundle. I do keep a special eye out for shirt dresses, athleisure style sweatshirts, tie dye. Also the Dolan dress was, I want to say it was like a modal fabric, which is a very popular fabric because it's so soft. Speaking of athleisure, we have free people movement. This was yet another extremely popular piece, which I knew that it would be because of the style, the brand free people movement is a very, um, in demand brand. The wash, it has this like sun wash look to it. This crosses over several different style categories. It's boho, it's loungewear, it's athleisure. You could wear this after a workout, you know, changing from the gym, walking to your car, or you could just lounge at home in this. You could run errands in this. Very, very cute. I listed this at 45. I got an offer of 27 and I did counter that to 35. I honestly should have stayed firm at 35 just because this did have so much interest. Um, but when I was counter 29, I did accept that. And so my earnings were $23 and 20 cents and my profit came out to around 22 on this sweatshirt. I'm so happy with that. Um, that does still meet my sale price that I like to have. It's a dollar over, so I'm so happy with that. And I hope the buyer loves it. It is so cute. Okay, I feel like we are just flying through our sales here. Next, we have a full price sale, also a very fast sale. This was, once again, from the Austin outlet. This is an L.L. Bean nightgown. So the reason that I knew this would do well is uh, mainly because of the style, the cut, the material. It's a 100% cotton flannel nightgown. It's a very specific kind of niche piece, uh, very cottagecore, prairie, modest, boho, that kind of thing. Uh, size small and it has a really fun print midi length pin tuck design so yeah I love this I knew when I found this that it would sell very very well and it sold for full price did I mention that <laughs> I can't remember $45 okay is that are you guys happy with this fold I feel like that was good yeah $45 
my earnings were 36 and my profit was right around $35 on this nightgown. So yeah, definitely keep an eye out for more modest uh, night nightgowns, especially in reputable brands, L.L. Bean, Land's End, um, Garnet Hill, that kind of thing. In good materials, natural materials, breathable materials, bonus points if it has a fun print or cute details like that pin tuck chest. Um, and be sure to add your keywords in cottage core, prairie, modest. Okay, moving along, yet another very fast sale also from Outlet or Austin Outlet. This is a Sundance size extra large tie dye printed asymmetric hem midi dress so I would say the uh, sellable features to this are first off the size extra large the brand Sundance people know it they love it they search it out it's this dress retailed for I'm sure around a hundred dollars maybe a little bit over a hundred dollars the print the boho tie-dye print it also has an interesting cut to it with the ruffles in front or the asymmetric hem in front. The length, the midi length makes it a little bit more substantial. The condition, it's in flawless condition. So yeah, the list just goes on and on for this dress. So marketable, so sellable. And yeah, I'm very happy to see it sell quickly. I listed this at 40. I was offered 32, which I accepted. My earnings were $25.60, and my profit was right around $24. Okay, next up we have oh, a hat. This I actually grabbed for myself at the bins. You guys know I love this color. It has a fun artsy embroidered design on the front. Um, but I don't know. I tried it on and I didn't love it. I think this was just sold at Target originally. But yeah, I didn't love it for some reason. And so I just went ahead and listed it at $10. Someone offered me seven for it, I believe. And I think I just declined that because I thought listing it at $10 was... I wanted to hold out for a full price sale and it did end up selling for full price, the $10. So my earnings were seven and I made back about $6 on this. So honestly, not bad. I mean, for something that I bought for myself and didn't like, I will for sure take a $6 little profit. And I hope the buyer likes it. It's an adorable hat. I'm not, I can't quite put my finger on why I didn't love it, but Okay, another hat, this hat, I, so this is by Mud Pie, which is just kind of a boutique brand, but I got this because it was 100% wheat straw, which makes it higher quality than like paper. It also has a fringe trim. So I'm going to put some paper in the head area of this this is a jacket that we will ship in a little bit. Let me put this up here. Let me grab an empty box number seven, put this hat in, okay? And then I'm going to add a piece of paper on top. as well as a thank you sticker and seal this up. So this hat was actually another full price sale at $25. My earnings were 20 and my profit was right around 19. And I hope, again, I hope the buyer really likes it. Okay, this little top I've had for probably over a year now. The brand is Express, size extra small. I actually purchased this for myself, but again, I didn't end up loving it. So I just listed it at 18 it is all natural it's cotton and linen so you know it is it is a nice a nice little top here I listed it at 18 
someone recently left me a comment and asked if I would drop the price by 10% so that they could get the discounted shipping on closet clear out day, which I happily did. I dropped it down to 16 and they did purchase for full price. So they did get the discount in shipping. My earnings were $12.80. So yeah, another piece that I got for myself and I made a little profit on, which you really just can't beat. If this had been like a polyester, I would I would not have bothered listing it. I probably would have would have not bought it for myself if it had been polyester. Um but yeah, that linen cotton blend what did persuade me. Okay, now we have another two-piece bundle. And these were both, again, finds from the Austin Goodwill Outlets. First off is this really chunky wool blend checkered scarf. It's very large. So I am going to put this bundle in a... Another box number seven, fold this up. I'll put this in first. And then the second item is this skirt by the brand Philosophy. I rarely pick this brand up, but I did want to get this because it's 100% cotton. It's also midi length. It's a really comfy pull on stretch waist. The colors are very fall time, so it's great for this time of year and it was in excellent condition. So just fold those in and then add a piece of paper as well as my thank you sticker and seal this up. Okay, so when the two of these were added to a bundle, the price came out to 67. I was offered 56, which I did counter to 60 just because these were both so newly listed. And the Free People Checkered Scarf had a lot of traffic. It had a lot of likes. And so I figured $30 for each item was a good uh, price. So yeah, I counted at 60, which was accepted. My earnings came out to 48. My cost of goods for both was $2.70. And so my profit was right around $45. Okay, moving along, we have a three-piece bundle. These are all really pretty. So these first two, well, okay, so this was from the Austin Outlets. It's a Zara, very boho, 100% cotton cardigan jacket piece. It has beading, sequins, fringe, so much happening. I swear, everything I found just has like three or four things going for it that make it sellable. Usually I find like maybe two, maybe three, I don't know, maybe even like four or five things going for it. Like it's crazy what you can find. I'm, I'm just itching to go back and shop. So yeah, this jacket sold super fast as well as the next top that I will show. So yeah, this was also from Austin. The brand is Joy Joy, which I had never heard of. I mainly got this because of the really pretty embroidery. It's also 100% cotton. So again, if this had been polyester, I would have left it, but the quality was there for me. And then this last piece in the bundle is by UMG, which is a tried and true bread and butter seller for me really pretty floral embroidery on the sleeves. I've had this dress for, I'd say a month and a half now, so it did take a little bit longer to sell. I found this at the Houston Bins Goodwill Outlet. When the three of these were added to a bundle, the price came out to 79. That does include my automatic 15% off bundle discount of three items or more in my closet. And so I was offered 65. I did counter that to 75 just because I figured 25 per item seemed like a good price for me. They countered me back to 70, which I went ahead and accepted. I have had the Umji dress for 
like I said, about a month and a half. So I wanted to move that out. And I did check comps on the Joy Joy brand, which was the yellow embroidered blouse. And they were relatively low. So I, I was happy with 70. My earnings were 56 and my profit came out to 52 ish. I paid around $4 for everything. So not bad at all. I hope the buyer loves it. This is a gorgeous, fun bundle here. Okay, next we have a cardigan. This was also very fast sale within a couple days of being listed. I absolutely love finding Tahari in good fabrics. This is 100% linen, open front, long line cardigan in a size large. Excellent condition. It has a hood. Again, this has like five or six sellable, marketable, strong features to it. The material, the cut, the size, the style, the color. It's a really fun beachy blue color. I listed this at 35. Someone offered 28, which I accepted. My earnings were $22.40 and my profit came out to right around $21. So that is right on target for me. Tahari linen items are a solid bread and butter seller. They sell so quickly every time for a great return. So I will continue to pick them up year round, honestly, even going into fall time or we're in fall time. It's finally cooled off here in Houston. I think the temperature was in the 60s today, which is just kind of mind blowing. It really felt like the heat would never let up, but it finally has. Okay, now we have a three item scarf bundle, which was a full price sale. You guys know I'm always so excited about full price bundle sales. So, and these are all so pretty. This scarf I found from the Austin outlet, so it sold really quickly. It is a like fall floral print by Patricia Nash, which is a, a reputable brand. She makes a lot of leather goods. I've never found anything but uh, like shoes or purses from Patricia Nash. The second scarf, also gorgeous, also kind of fall colors with the dark hues. The brand on this is Elizabeth Gillett or Gillett, G Gillet. G I think it's Gillett. I'm not sure. I should have looked up how to pronounce it. It's G-I-L-L-E-T-T -T, and this brand is sometimes sold at Anthropology or no, sorry, Sundance. It's sold at Sundance. So also a high quality brand there. And lastly is this Chico scarf, which I have sold in the past. So this is my second time selling it now. And it is a modal silk blend. So also high quality, love the print to this. All in great shape. This scarf I've had for a couple months now. The purple scarf I've had for probably about a month. So when the three were added together, the bundle price came out to 86, but with my automatic 15% off discount, it was discounted to 73. And so my earnings were $58.48. These are all very lightweight, so I, I paid around $3. And my Profit was around 55, which I am ecstatic about. I hope the buyer loves these. They are gorgeous. Such fun items to add to your wardrobe to spice up an outfit a little bit. Okay, next we have another Johnny Was blouse. This one I have had for, I would say three months now listed. This is the Bia line, B-I-Y-A that I was mentioning earlier which usually has very heavy embroidery. This is so pretty. Um, I had this listed at 65 and it sold full price. 
which was great. My earnings were 52. I found this at the Houston Goodwill outlet and my profit was right around $50 on this blouse. Highly recommend you guys keep an eye out for Johnny Was. I would say it is my favorite brand to resell. The demand is just so high for the brand. And I mean, you really, you can trust the quality, the craftsmanship, if you will. The styles are always so pretty. And again, this is something that's going to sell year round. Now we have a six item bundle. I'm just going to neatly fold everything into this box. First item is this Chico's loose knit striped sweater. I've had this for about a month and a half, I would say. It is a newer piece from Chico's. I got this at the Houston bins. Same for this. It's Lulu's square neck, yellow, midi length, dress. I've had this, I would say also about a month and a half, maybe, maybe just a month. And this one actually had a small little pin pinpoint spot at the neck, which obviously I disclosed. Third piece is by Free People. It's a midi length skirt. Really fun, high low, it has mixed prints, pull on elastic waist. So that's our third piece. Fourth is this strapless dress by the brand Ravia, I believe. Yes, Ravia. Made in India, size large. This is so soft and stretchy. It is a rayon spandex blend, which is a soft stretch jersey knit. So that's our fourth item. We have this Free People bralette. I found this in Austin. So this sold really quickly. The This skirt, the tie-dye Ravius or uh, strapless dress. You could also wear it as a skirt with the top folded down as your waistband. I've had that for probably three or four months now. The Free People skirt I've had a couple months. And lastly is this Magashoni Linen Blend Open Knit Long Line Tunic Sweater Top. I've had this for a couple months as well. I mainly got it because of the fabric and the style. I knew I could add in a lot of keywords like beachy, boho, that kind of thing. Coastal grandma. So let me look over my list now. Is that all? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, six items. I'm going to add my piece of paper on top with my thank you sticker and seal it up. So for this six item haul, when everything was added into a bundle, the bundle price with the discount, with the 15% off discount came out to $171. I sent the potential buyer a $150 offer with discounted shipping, which they did counter to 130 and I did accept that, making my earnings 104. I paid around $10 for everything and so my profit on this bundle was $94. Let me double check that this is not over five pounds. I can also double check my cost of goods because I have been kind of off recently with my ballparking cost of goods, four pounds. So it's not overweight, this label's good. Let's, well, 2.49 times two is $5. So times four would be 10, so yeah. I'm right on target with my cost of goods. Okay, now that we've cleared that up, I'm just gonna toss that over there. Uh, next, we have this button front cardigan top ribbed by Madewell. So for this piece, even though it is more plain, basic, bread and butter kind of thing, I did get it because it is 48% wool, which does elevate it. 
a little bit and it also is from 2021. And the cut and style are trendy with the rib knit and the oversized tortoiseshell buttons. So for all those reasons, I did want to get this. If it had been, honestly, even like 100% cotton, I might have left this. Or if it was from like 2017, 2018, I probably would have left it also. So the combination of everything persuaded me to pick it up. I listed this at 32. Someone liked it, and so my Posture VA sent out a $28 offer with discount ship that was accepted, making my earnings $19.42. I paid about $1.50 for this at the Houston Goodwill outlet, and so my profit was right around $18. I've had this for about a month, a month now. So relatively fast sale. Next up we have, this was a really exciting sale here. This is a J. Crew closet staple LBD black dress. It's a really comfy, thick ponty knit dress. Zips in back, excellent condition. I'm sure I added career, office, workwear, minimalist, contemporary. With stuff like this that's such a closet staple, I also usually add in capsule wardrobe because this is just such a nice piece to add to your uh, wardrobe if you're trying to build a really solid capsule wardrobe. <laughs> I feel like I've said that word like six times now. Yeah, I mean, this dress probably retails for 100 to 140 ish from J. Crew. I listed it at 45 and it sold for full price within a month and a half. So my earnings were 36 My profit was 34 I paid a couple dollars for this at the Houston Goodwill outlet. So I would say this is a huge win-win for both me and buyer. You get a great closet staple that's in excellent condition. This honestly looks like new. And I also make a fantastic return. Okay, moving along, we have a hat. This was also a very fast sale. I was, I was surprised that all of these sun hats sold so fast because we are in fall time now. This had no brand, but it does have the 66170 RN number, so I believe it is free people. And I found this perfect little Amazon box to ship it in. I didn't want to put it in. It's just wide enough for this hat. So if you're new to Poshmark, you can use just any box that you have lying around you can reuse it um, I usually use the USPS boxes because I just don't have enough boxes lying around with how much I ship but you know every once in a while I do for sure use random like Amazon boxes I do add these priority mail stickers onto the reused boxes though just to kind of show that it's a priority mail package it doesn't really do much, honestly, but I think it's just kind of a good idea to make it known that it's a priority package. And it also reinforces the tape. So, you know, it definitely doesn't hurt. And then I, I cover up any existing labels with the new label. I listed this hat at 28. I pretty quickly got a $25 offer, which I was happy with for sure. I accepted my earnings were 20 and my profit was right around $19. Okay, now we have a pair of pants. These were once again from the Austin outlet. I feel like a broken record, but these sold within a couple days. So the reason I picked these up, they are plus size, size 22. They are a newer item from Lane Bryant. I want to say these were from 2023. And they also were a linen blend. And I love the cut to them. This elastic pull-on stretch waist 
wide leg cut has been so popular for me. Okay, this is going to bother me. I know these have an inside tag because I, yeah, here it is. Okay, they are 53% linen and they do have spandex and they are from January 2023, so this year. They have a really subtle leaf print to them, floral print. And once again, I knew I could add in a ton of keywords, beachy, boho, coastal grandma, that kind of thing. Excellent condition. So I listed these at 32. I was offered 25, which I did counter to 28 because of all those reasons, mainly because they are so new. That was accepted. And so my earnings were $22 and 40 cents and my profit was right around $21. Lane Bryant has quickly become one of my favorite bread and butter brands. I only pick up stuff that is substantial and has a lot going for it. Like it has to have a combo of material, prints, age, Okay, we're getting down to our final items here. So this is the coat that I mentioned earlier. I already have it packaged up, but I'll, picture, I'll put a picture of it on the screen. It's a Topshop long line coat. This is also from the Austin outlet. Um, it was a size 10, it might've been a 12. Wool blend, gorgeous print, like a gradient plaid print, neutral colors, excellent condition, ton of keywords, minimalist, boho, fall time, contemporary capsule wardrobe. So yeah, this coat again had so much going for it. I listed it at 80. Someone liked it and so I sent them out a $72 offer with discount ship which was accepted. My earnings came out to $54.62 and my profit was right around $53 on this coat. I probably did pay more for this, but I just averaged my cost of goods across the board. Okay, add our label. And we are down to our last couple sales here. Good thing because I am running out of floor space. Okay, so we have this Puffer jacket by the brand Uniqlo. This is so nice. And this is in flawless condition. Like I looked this thing over so many times because it is a cream color, but I don't think this was ever worn because totally flawless. And this is also packable. So you can fold it up and put it in this little bag, which I've had in the pocket. So I'm going to fold this and then put that bag on top of the jacket so that the buyer can see it. I had this listed, I think this retailed for 80 or 90 from Uniqlo, I forget. It is genuine down, it's down filled. I, so I listed it at 45. I was offered 30, which I did counter to 40. And that was countered back to 35, which I accepted. My earnings were 28 and my profit was right around 26 on this jacket. I've had this, I think I listed this within the last couple weeks. So this was a relatively fast sale as well. Really nice piece, very high quality basic here. I was tempted to keep this, but I probably should have kept it. I don't really have, I don't have any down fill jackets, any puffer jackets, and I have been kind of wanting a puffer jacket. I just don't know about a cream colored jacket. I feel like I would get this dirty in like 30 seconds. Okay, our very last piece is by Cloth and Stone. Once again, from the Austin Goodwill outlet. This sold, I listed this last night and I got an offer for it this morning. So very fast seller. It's a chambray denim duster shirt dress with dramatic side slits and also a fun 
metallic weave stripe all over. It has pockets. You could wear this a lot of different ways. You could wear it open as a duster or closed as a tunic dress. And it was in great shape. So I listed this at 45. Someone offered me 38, which I accepted. My earnings were $30 and 40 cents. And my profit came out to right around $29 on this piece, which I was so happy with. I hope the buyer loves it. It's so cute. I am picky with cloth and stone, but if the item has a lot going for it, which this definitely did, I will for sure grab it because it does retail for quite a bit and people do know this brand and search it out. I think it's kind of like the quintessential chambray kind of brand cloth and stone. So with that, we are finished with all of the sales for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy, please feel free to leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys soon. Bye y'all.